When looked from space, Earth is a beautiful planet. It has continents and oceans, but no countries or borders. From space, one can see vanishing rainforests, expanding deserts. They have no respect for borders because there are no borders at all. Therefore, none of us can never overstate the focus centered around the sustainability of our planet. The official definition of sustainable development was developed in 1987. But the renowned spiritual leader and social reformer Saint Kuryakos Elias Chavra even used this concept during his time. There is a reason why he is a man of centuries to come. His fragrance of, de fragrance of his deeds are still felt after 150 years of his death. Sustainable development means corporate control of Earth's inve inventory, land, water, environment, animals, humans. Here, I am to focus upon the three points where Saint Chavra has taken the lead and contributed towards sustainable development. First, humans. Human development is linked with sustainable development. For that, two kinds of investments are needed. First, in livelihoods and second, in human capital. It's known only a burned candle can burn other candles. Likewise, Saint Chavra did. He worked for the upliftment of humans. A widow named Eliswa, her daughter Anna and her sister Teresa were the first members of congregation of Mother of Carmel. The time where widow meant the end of the world for women, Saint Chavra became a means of hope. While serving as the vicar of Pallipuram, one night he was informed that one of his passioners was extremely sick. He immediately got ready. People tried to stop him, saying it was contagious smallpox. But he said, let me do my, let me do my duty. God will take care of me and went. These two incidents show how much of a great role model he is for sustainable development. He prioritized human health and inclusion of the neglected, which are the main objectives of sustainable development in the present world. Second, information. Saint Chavra knew in order for the progress of society, people need to be educated and informed. For that, he published first Malayalam newspaper called Nasrani Dipika. But people at that time could not read and write. He was a champion of literature. He told stories in form of poems so that people listened. He had a great emphasis on rhyme scheme, interest and suspense. He spoke with such charisma that people listened and learned. He knew learning is from listening. And that is how he became a promoter of education and laid down the foundation of what we now call as practical learning. Saint Chavra knew conflicts only make earth poor and unsustainable. He, through his writings, letters, speeches, led to reformation and removal of disparities. His two words of wisdom would resolve any conflict. Third, environment. While going up the hill to look for a place to build monastery, he sat down for prayer. While doing so, he was attacked by a snake. He calmly opened his eyes and said, Don't disturb me, please go your way. And the snake went away. He could have killed the snake, but he didn't. His holiness didn't let him do it. He teaches us to respect environment and Mother Earth, for it underpins our economy, our society and indeed very ex and indeed our very existence. Saint Chavra worked selflessly for women empowerment, food safety, poverty, all the objectives of sustainable development in the present world. In short, Saint Kuryakos Elias Chavra enlightened not only the people of his time, he has a wider vision for generations to come.